Hey, I'm Seth with Land of House, back here at my friend David's house. Thanks hey guys. for having me. Absolutely. About uh, five weeks ago from filming this video, we installed a one and a quarter inch ram pump, and we're back out here to see what his setup looks like now that it's complete. My kids are enjoying the setup, definitely uh, getting wet. So he has made a sauna with outdoor shower, and then he has hot tub, and he's using the ram pump water as a cold dip. So it's coming up here, passing through a couple of filters and filling up these two tanks. So after you've been in the heat, you can jump and cool off here in the cold dip. So we'll go down to the pump in a minute, but he has a couple of filters. Garden hose coming up into this Rusco spin down, which then comes under and feeds this little, uh, is it a, what is it? Just a house filter? A house filter? House filter. Yep. And uh, what we're finding out, the sediment is actually very fine and still has a little bit in here. So he's gonna drop down filter size to catch that last little bit. Mm -hmm. And he also has an idea for catching even more uh, silt down in the creek, which I'll talk about in a minute. And we're down here at the pump. The drive pipe is only about 25 foot long going up to our bucket source, which I'll show you here. And that is the reason the waste valve is cycling a bit fast. But it is pumping quite a bit of water up to the top out the garden hose delivery pipe, which goes up to the house, which is right through here. So let's go ahead and skirt over here to the bucket and see what that looks like. He's put the bucket up on a board to help raise it up a little bit. And you can see he has plenty of water entering into the system with that coming out of the top like that. And the uh, drive pipe has actually pulled the unisil down just a little bit. And that's why there is a small leak on the side over there. No big deal though, still operating just fine. Then the pipe continues up the creek about 25 to 30 feet where the intake it goes. When we first installed this system, I warned him that he's probably gonna have some silt problems. And during high water, the whole intake may get washed out a little bit. Let me show you what he's done so far to remedy that. And then I'll tell you about what he intends to do to solve the silt problem up at the house. So he has a couple of pipes set into the creek to kind of direct the water a bit more towards the screen in hopes of getting a little less silt and sediment. He's also placed a piece of plastic under here to keep the water in place because in heavy rains it was washing out this little dam we've made and he wouldn't have enough water to get into the screened intake. Now, the plan he has to reduce the very, very fine silt that is in this creek is to make a little wooden trough that is about a foot to a foot and a half tall and it's gonna have about three or four feet long. And what'll happen is all of the creek water will go into that little trough and will continue down the creek. But the intake to the pump will be a few inches above the ground so that all of that fine silt will pass on through and the water will still go into the pump. That's the plan here. He thinks he has enough water flow in the creek to allow that to happen. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the silt that he has here in his creek is very, very fine. It's uh, like a baby powder. So anyway, that's what the pump looks like in its current state. Now let's follow the delivery pipe up the hill here. It's just in this gray garden hose and simply comes up this hill, which is somewhere around a 30 foot total lift comes over here under the woods. Oh, no. 
Hello. What you doing? <laughs> you could probably fit through that if you wanted to. We're having a good time with the water. Here's the back side where the Rusco spin down filter is going up into the system. No crackers in the cold dip. Oh no, we're losing it. I've got it. a strainer. Okay. I've got a strainer. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're good. I'll, I'll strain it right now before it spreads. Before it infects the whole tub. Bonus content. Yes. How to strain out Ritz crackers from a cold dip. Do it? I was like, well, let me just see how easy that is. Do it. Do it. There you go. <laughs> Alright, and take turns with your brother. Well, thank you, David, for letting me come back and film again. Absolutely. Happy to help. Looks like the system's working well. Yeah, it's amazing when you get out of the sauna or the hot tub to have that steady cold water right from the creek. I love it. And you're also adding ice packs to make it even colder. Yeah, because it's summertime. So yep. it's, when it's 80, the, the, you know, the surface water is not as cold as in the winter. So I'm looking for, forward to the winter when we're closer to 30 degrees. When you break the ice <laughs> to get in there. <laughs> yep, that's the idea. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that uh, thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.